Hi, uh, so as you can probably tell from the title, today I'm going to show you how I expand a backdrop like this when you shoot dolls or anything. It's really nice to have different colored solid backdrops, um, but with these posters that you can get from Walmart and Target, they're not always big enough for your entire photo, so it's really useful to know how to expand that. Um, and first I'm in Lightroom, but the easiest way to get a photo from Lightroom over to Photoshop where we're going to do this is to just press Command E. Oops, let me make sure this is clicked. Command E on your keyboard and Photoshop will pop up. There we go. Alright, now the most important thing is to Command J and that will create a new um, copy of your background so that you're not actually, you know, if you mess up you can just go, oh, alright, and it won't be there anymore. You'll still have, you're preserving your original photo, just in case. Um, so now I'm going to click J, and that will bring up my healing tool. And I'm going to get rid of my duct tape first. Just the easiest way to do it. There we go. See how easy, J is like the heal tool, like spot healing tool, is the best thing Photoshop has ever created. It makes life so much easier. I don't know why I just healed that dust bunny out because I'm going to edit it out anyway. Um, now what I like to do is do it in batches. And this is the easiest way to do it. There's a million different ways to do this, but this is how I like to do it. I'm going to select as much of my backdrop as I can get without touching her skirt. There we go. And then I'm going to Command C, uh, copy, and then Command V, paste it. And you can see there's a layer right there. But then I'm going to go to my uh, press V for my directional tool. I'm going to, well, you can't see this because I'm not recording this part of the screen, but I'm going to go to Edit, up top, Transform, Flip Horizontal. That'll flip it on the horizontal axis so that when I drag it over here, the colors right there match up. See, and I'm going to fix that a little bit later. And then I'm going to shift it over just a little bit. There we go. I like that better. Just a little bit more. Well, maybe back. And then Command T to pull it over to the edge. Enter. And then I'm going to go back and select both of these layers. Oops. And I'm going to merge them so that I can take my J tool again, just brush it on down to bring out that impurity and get rid of it. There we go. Now I'm going to go back to my select tool and I'm going to take all of this right here, Command C to copy, Command V to paste, back to edit, transform, but this time I'm going to flip on the vertical axis because I want it to go up and not to the side. So back to V, my move tool, bring it on up, there we go, and it matches just perfectly. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom real quick, just because it's easier sometimes to do all this instead of switching between tools. Oops, my bad. Make sure you select the layer that actually has things in it, Command Z, Command V. Um, edit, transform, flip vertical. Oops, wrong one, V. Get on down here. There we go. Looks good. So now I'm going to select those two layers that I just did, plus my copy, my background copy layer, merge them so that I can go back to my J tool and kind of fix this up right here where it's not super perfectly blended. It's got a little weird. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Go back to my marquee tool. Get close to the edge as I can, but without, oops. There we go, get as close to the edge as I can, but without getting any of the um, extra. I keep pointing to the screen like you can see me, but you can't, so, oh well. Uh, command C, Command V. Edit up at the top, I know you can't see it, but it's there. But we're flipping horizontal this time, because we're moving it to the side. And we're just going to go right there to match it up. Command T, stretch it out. There we go. But then I'm going to merge those layers because before I do the rest of them, I kind of want to fix this little bit of shadowish right here. There we go. Oops. Yeah, and sometimes if the J tool doesn't do what you want, you can just go right here to the stamp tool 
um, you click option to select what you want to do and then just rush it where you want it. Okay. I mean that doesn't necessarily look any better but I'll just leave it anyway. Um, do a little bit more. There we go. And then back to, oops, actually I'm going to go back to my marquee tool. And I'm going to select right here. Command C, Command V, Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical. Okay. So I can move it, match it on up. Command T to stretch it all the way to the top. There we go. Uh, and then the same thing down here. Oops, six, 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 six. Um, and the benefit of doing this and flipping it is that it just matches right away and then you can fix it a little bit if you want but you don't have to because it usually looks pretty okay but we're about to get to the trickier part Oops, it matched. that's a little better all right so now i'm going to go i'm going to select those layers five six and four merge them again and remember i still have my original background so if i'd really messed it up i could just delete this whole layer right here where i've been working and start from the beginning. Um, but I'm going to go here again. Select my J tool again. And I'm going to heal this because it's a lot easier to try to heal it than to select. Let's see. Well, almost. Let's see if it'll do it. Yep. There we go. Nice. Alright, and then I'm going to do the same thing up here. And I bet it's gonna, going to clone a little bit of the bow, but we'll see what happens. Nope. Alright. There we go. That's how you do it. Just from that to that. And then when I close it out, it'll just bring it back in Lightroom. So I'm going to close it out. Save it. Oh, <laughs> it's like super zoomed in. There we go. Um, so if there's anything you'd like to see, anything in, you know, any comments you have about this video, go ahead and leave them down below. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys create. Make sure you tag me if you post it on Instagram. Bye.